Hi there, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today is a great day. This video is filled with tons of inspiration for you. All right, for this Dollar Tree DIY, we're gonna start with this tag. This was from their summer section, as you can tell. It has some sort of like summer design, but we're gonna try to remove that. And I started trying to sand it down with my sanding block, but that didn't work. So I did move on to my electric sander and it actually worked perfectly. It's gonna leave a little bit of a white shadow, but I'm okay because we're gonna cover that with some florals. All right, so we're gonna start by adding some foam. We're just gonna hot glue a little piece right there and this is gonna help us get some florals attached nice and snug. This greenery is from actually their summer section, but I like that it is a base for me to start with and it's actually from Walmart. This little potted flower is from Dollar Tree. I love the color and I love the size. So I'm just gonna take off the stem and then place it right there in the center with some hot glue. It's gonna give me a nice coverage and just beautiful color. These little pumpkins already come with a little stick so that you can place them in floral arrangements. I'm gonna cut off some of it. And I'm just gonna start attaching them here and there as well as other florals to make it fuller and more festive. I want to add a ribbon to be able to hang the tag from. So this leafy one is a beautiful one that you can find at Dollar Tree. We're just going to put it right through the hole, make a simple knot, and then we're going to slide the knot to the back so that you don't see it. And then we're going to take the same ribbon and just make a very simple bow and hot glue it to the front. And we're just about done with this one. I gotta say, I love these colors. I love how bright it is. And we used a summer item for a fall decor and I just love doing that. All right, friends, so let me tell you, today's video is in collaboration with these beautiful and talented ladies. Every other month, we're gonna bring you a collaboration and we're gonna send each other a list, a shopping list, where we're gonna go and buy items that we are going to have to purchase and then DIY something for. This month, I received a package from Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating, so let's see what she placed on my shopping list. All right, so let's see what Jenny got me. I am so excited to find out what is in here. And what we're gonna do first is we usually send out a note with the items that we need to go shopping with, but we also send out a little tiny gift. So I'm not gonna show you the gift. I'm not gonna even look at it until the end of the video so I can show you live. All right, so here's her little note. It says, asking God to shower you with blessings. I love that. And give you countless reasons to be thankful. How sweet. It says, hello, my friend. Hope this card finds you well. I want to first say, I'm so excited to be joining you and the others in this collab. You are all so talented. I really do enjoy your channel. Everything is always crafted so beautifully. Cannot wait to see what you create. So here's the list that she gave me. It says, a wood sign florals and something from the toy section interesting and then it says p.s enjoy your gift all right so here's the list let's go shopping and find these items All 
All right, so I have my items and I am ready to start crafting them. This fall sign was one that really caught my eye. I love how square it is and it did have some glitter. So I am going to sand it down, wipe it down really, really well to make sure that I can adhere the next step. So here's some fabric from Dollar Tree. You get these little bundles at Dollar Tree currently and they have different designs. I recently did a video using only these fabric and it's so much fun i had this one left over but it was a little bit too see-through you can see the design from the sign so i did have to give a very light one coat of waverly chalk paint in the white to lighten it up and now you can't see it so it worked out really well i'm going to mod podge the fabric onto the sign so i'm just going to do half the board first i'm going to put quite a bit of mod podge then i'm going to place the fabric on top making sure that i am pulling and flattening as needed so that the wrinkles are completely gone and then i'll do the second half of the board hey, darling, can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light I'm going to use my watery cutter to cut the edges off, but you can use scissors if you'd like. I just find it a lot easier with my rotary cutter. Now here is the toy aisle item and I got a ball and I thought it would be a great idea to hack it into a little foam. And so I am going to cut it with my serrated knife. I just find it so much easier to cut foam with serrated knives. So this is my kitchen one. <laughs> I'm going to cut up a little piece from the ball and I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom left of the sign. This is going to be the base where we can then push the florals in. And yeah, I thought that was a great idea. I might keep the ball and use it for other floral arrangements. I'm going to hot glue some of this moss right on it to cover the color blue. And then again, I'm going to take one of these potted flowers. This is a red one. And again, I'm just going to cut off the stem and hot glue it right in the center, just giving me a lot of fullness and a beautiful color contrast from the flower and the design on the board. Really cool. So then I'm just going to start adding some florals here and there from the Dollar Tree. One of my challenge items was florals. So these are all from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to keep filling it up until it looks nice and full. I wanted to add something to the left side. So I thought why not add some more of that same fall leafy ribbon that I used earlier and I'm just going to grab a piece that's long enough to be able to wrap around one side. As you can see I think it's going to really complement those florals on the left side. I'm going to hot glue one end first make sure that it's secure and then I want to make sure that this ribbon is not bubbled. I want to make sure it's really flat so I'm going to stretch it as much as I can and hot glue it in the back. And then after I do this, that's it. I did add a jute string to the back of the board so that we can hang it on the wall. But I think it's beautiful. I love the colors of this floral arrangement. I love that we used a ball to secure the florals. How fun was this challenge? For the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to start with this crafting paper. I get these books of crafting paper all the time. They're at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart. You can find them in several places. I'm going to cut off a piece of it. And this is going to be about maybe five inches, four and a half inches wide. And I'm going to turn it into a tag-like design. And then I'm going to take some poster board from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take it and make another tag same size but then I'm going to adjust the size so that it is a little smaller than this tag. What we're creating here is a little menu card. I thought how fun would it be if you are making, if you're hosting and making dinner for a fall dinner theme to have a little menu card to place right on each plate. I thought that was so cute and I thought I'm gonna make one. So here it is, we're just gonna make one. And again, I'm just making two tags. The one on the bottom is gonna be the base and then the one, the white one is gonna be where we're gonna place the menu and then also of course some other decor. So once I had it to the size that I wanted, I am going to use some glue stick to place it right on top.
these little flower stickers you can find at Dollar Tree in their sticker section. And I thought they were so cute. I'm going to place one right on top. And then we're going to place one in a little bit. I hand wrote the menu, but you can certainly type it and glue it onto it. I just thought, you know what? This is DIY. Let's hand write it and make it more personal. I'm going to add, like I said, one more leaf right to the bottom. To finish it off, I'm just going to take this lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree, wrap it in the middle, make a very simple bow. And that's it. We're going to keep it very simple. We're going to place it on a plate. And I just think that it would be so cute. I've never done this before, but I'm so motivated to host a small little fall dinner and have these little menu cards right on top. How cute would that be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. If you enjoy DIY home decor, this is the channel for you. I post every single week, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content. All right, friends, for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this fall sign. Now, these are all going to be quick, easy, simple for you. So we're not going to do anything for it, except we're just going to make these flowers 3D. So we're going to take these florals from Dollar Tree and just start hot gluing them in between each letter and between each pumpkin. Again, I actually don't mind the colors of this fall sign. I think it's pretty. I love the teal color, but I just thought adding some more floral, more 3D style florals to each one would be perfect. Friends, I want to remind you that my Amazon store is always linked down below in the description box. I would love for you to check it out. I have all my favorite items there. And if you follow me, anytime I add new items, you'll be notified. So check it out. It is linked down below. All right, so we're just about done with this one. And I think it turned out so beautiful. What an easy and quick way to customize a fall sign from Dollar Tree that's $1.25. It's pretty large. I love it. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I am going to take this thankful pumpkin sign. You see these all the time at Dollar Tree and they're so customizable. You can leave them like this or you can make them very custom to what you like. I'm gonna remove the thankful portion of it and everything else from it. And then we're gonna leave it like this because we're going to tear up some drop cloth. I always have drop cloth here on hand. It goes a long way and it's so easy to work with. I'm just gonna make a little slit and then tear off some strips. And then we're just going to basically place them right on top of the pumpkin, cut the bottom. And then once I have all the strips cut to size, I'm gonna hot glue them onto the pumpkin because we are going to make this very quick, very easy in less than five minutes. My friends, I also want to remind you that I am very active on Instagram and Facebook. I would love to connect with you there as well. Check out the links that I have down in the description box. And when you're there, please say hi. All right, so we're just about done covering up the pumpkin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and use my X-Acto knife to cut off the excess and make it as flush as possible to the pumpkin. Now, I'm not looking for perfection. The drop cloth has a very frayed edges, has more of a farmhouse relaxed look. So if the edges look the same, I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to take this nautical row from Dollar Tree. It's just a leftover piece that I had, and I'm just going to wrap up the stem with it just to, again, make it look a little bit thicker, more texture, and it just looks really well with the drop cloth. I am not going to take this little garland wired little design. I don't know how to call them, but I have several of them. I found them at Dollar Tree, and they're just really cool and versatile. I'm just going to wrap it around and twist it a little bit. And then I'm going to use my finger to roll it around into a little curl and just add a little bit more character. And I'll do that on the other side. And then it's time to add just one flower here. I just love adding sunflowers. It just adds so much color. This little pumpkin pick is a piece of a larger one from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to place it on the left side here. And that's it. We're going to keep it pretty simple, but so much texture and such a quick and easy DIY. Anyone can do this. You can do this. You can do any of these. They're so simple, so beautiful. I got you. And you got
My friends, you're going to have to let me know which one is your favorite. I cannot choose. I really like them all. You know what I love? I love that they are so easy and they're so quick and anyone can do them. I love them. But let me know in the comment which one is your favorite. If you are visiting for the first time or if you are visiting from the other channels on the collaboration, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. And don't forget to check out the link down below so you can visit all the other girls. And as promised, here is a clip of me opening the gift that Jenny sent me. So I hope you enjoy. So I promised you that I wouldn't look at the um, gift that she sent me until the end. So here's what she got me. Again, we always send us a little something. It doesn't have to be huge or... Oh, I love this. Jenny, I have yet to find these at my Dollar Tree, especially with my initials. I love it. Thank you. Very thoughtful, very sweet of you. I love it. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny, again for that wonderful gift and the challenge items. How fun was that? And if you want to watch more, don't forget to watch that link in the description box. And there's also one playlist here and another video that you can watch. So I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.